Two of you, one of you feel that this wedding should not take place. One of you should speak now while the rest of us hold our eternal peace. I'm going to read a scripture and then we'll have prayer and get into our ceremony. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. But no man has ever hid his own flesh, but nourished and cherished it even as the Lord of the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and shall be joined unto his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. For this is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ of the church. Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife, even as himself, and the wife see that she reverences her husband. Let us all bow for a word of prayer. Eternal God, our Father, we thank you for this another gracious gift that no other competitor provides the blessing and the enjoyment of another day. <coughs> we know that we are not here by chance or by love, but we are here because this morning you reached out and touched us with your grace. We thank you for being such a benevolent God. We thank you today for being able to witness this love story coming together. We ask God that you would be in the midst, bring your Holy Spirit into this place, and let your spirit be the threefold cord that makes this marriage not easily broken. In Jesus' name we pray, and we all say amen. amen. I'm going to ask if you would turn to each other and hold each other's hands. Richer for poor, for better or worse, as long as the two of you shall live. The other, do you take the man in hands you hold to be your lawfully wedded husband? Do you vow to love him and to cherish him? Sickness and hell, for better or for worse, for richer or for poor, as long as the two of you shall live. Do we have rings? May I have rings? setting, these rings would have no significance sense or meaning. But because of this afternoon ceremony, they serve as a constant reminder of the vow that you not only take with one another, but that the one that you take with God. I would ask that you pay attention to the wedding bands. As the wedding bands are never ending circles, they represent the oneness in the relationship. There is no beginning, and there is no ending to the marriage bands. They continue on and on. One of the things that we must remember is that as we get married, it is the ending of our separate lives and coming together as one. That's why the Bible says that the two shall become one. Oneness is very important. It's not about what you want to do anymore or what you want to do. It's about what the two of you shall do together. How can you divide one? There's no way to do it. And as you continue in your marriage union, remember that the two of you are one. You communicate together. You talk to each other together and you make decisions together. No longer about I, me, and mine, but it's about us, we, and ours. Howard, the Bible says that you are supposed to love this woman as Christ loved the church. The Bible says that God demonstrated the depth and degree of that love when he died for the church. It's your job to be responsible to God for her, for her livelihood, and for her future. You're the leader of this family. Stand strong in that. We tell people that we marry that if you know a better woman than the one you're standing with, you're marrying the wrong one. But this is the woman that you go to when you want to be by yourself, but you don't want to be alone. That you can tell all your secrets to and don't have to worry about her throwing them in your face. You're, the Bible says that you are to submit to this man. I know that's a cuss word, but submit, it simply means to consider. It means that it's not all about what I want to do, but there's another person whose opinion has to be considered in this equation. I always tell people, after being married now for six years, I know that marriage is for grown-ups, it's not for kids. I tell people, you got to bring your big boy pants to marry. <laughs> you got to come ready to make it work every day. But as long as you wake up every morning determined to work on the marriage, the marriage will work. But the day you stop working on it is the day the marriage will cease to work. Would you take her ring and place it on her matrimonial table? And repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I be wed. I be wed. I give it unto you. I give it unto you as a token, as a token of my eternal love, my eternal love and commitment to you. Commitment to you. I give thee. I give thee my troth. My troth. Would you take this ring and place it on his matrimonial finger and repeat after me?
with this ring, I be wed. I give it unto you as a token of my eternal love and commitment to you. I give thee my troth. Would you place your matrimonial hands in mine? Let us bow for a word of prayer. Father God, we thank you for this great expression of love that we are blessed to witness today. We thank you, God, that we know that these two are together because before the foundation of the world, you predetermined that they would be here on this in this moment. We pray, God, that this marriage will be blessed. We pray that we pray that no enemy shall divide this relationship, but they shall be strong according to your word. We pray right now, O oh God, for blessings, for peace and prosperity to reign and rule over their house right now. We pray, God, that you would bind them together as one. Give them one spirit, one heart, and one mind, O oh God. And we pray today that as we witness the love between them, we also witness the love that you have for us. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said together, Amen. Amen. At this time, we're going to have... And you gave me, and you gave me peace of mind. 